Well, I mean, another primetime player really has come into zone, and this is the beauty of the FIBA World Cup qualifiers and also the Asian Cup Asian Cup qualifiers. It gives national teams the chance to develop. Well, if you're not nervous, something's wrong with you. We're underway. Lebanon will have the first possession. Well, Tempo will be key in this game, of course. Lebanon, very patient team, very disciplined. Like to get their half-court sets. The Philippine fans now trying to get into this one. I'm trying to go baseline now. A little dish off and a beautiful time. And that's a B. E A. Beautiful way to start the game for the Lebanese. Oh, hi, Gyokchan there. You can just, just see getting the layup underneath the basket. And now Gilas trying to get into emotions now. Chuma finding Dwight Ramos. Ramos now mid-range takes it. Doesn't get the ad one, but he will go to the free throw line for the two shots. Well, Jack Hello getting the foul, of course, and I mean, look at the the dime. Are you serious? I mean, he wasn't even looking at High Gyochan. Well, Ramos, of course, was identified by Tad Baldwin when he grew up in California. Now came to the Philippines after playing NCAA Division One, the USA, to play for Antoneo, and of course, making the move over to play in the B League. He's been a huge fan favorite here with these Gilas fans. Well, Jack Lil sharing the backcourt duty roles is now Darwich. Adidia now trying to force his way in. I mean, look at the strength of Adidia. Goes up, doesn't get the ad one, but this is what a primetime post player he is. I mean, look, he gives up about four inches when he's been defended by Jumar Fajardo. But Gerard, I mean, look at the post work. The footwork doesn't get called for travel. And he will go the free throw line. Well, he was the key factor for Lebanon in the FIBA Asia Cup qualifiers. But every great player has the Achilles heel. And Gerard Hedidian times have some good days on the free throw line. And at the moment, they'll need it from him tonight. Gilas now trying to get into the half court set. Looking to break this defense down. There's a penetration now. Pulls up. Brownlee mid range. Can't get it. Goes out of bounds. Now will be Lebanon Bowl. Well, the Lebanese right now content with letting Gilas try to get things going for the perimeter. I mean, they don't have a lot of confidence in their three point shooting. You can see the Lebanese players just sitting back on the defense. Now they can capitalize here on offense. Odawich now trying to split the defense, goes straight to the bucket and kisses that one off the backboard. Well, Sergio Odawich, one of the most dangerous players when he has the rock in his hand, is now CJ Perez tries to attack. Perez goes in with a finger roll. Well, Perez trying to be the Filipino Iceman. Looking like George Gervin with a Gilas jersey. Well, good tempo early on to this game. Both teams trying to get into an organized set, trying to play with patience. Lebanon now throwing it down low. Five on the shot clock. Got to get something going. And they have to force up a tough three. No good. Well, they got the post entry. Just the spacing on offense for the Lebanese players. A little bit congested that time. But look at this by El Dawich. Looking like Manu Ginobili with a Lebanese jersey. And there you can see George Gervin in a Gilas Filipinas Iceman. Fangarol, Perez goes in. That's what I like to call the Filipino Gilas step. Well, he is killing it with that Fangarol. CJ has come ready to play. Well, both teams now getting some good looks, but now they pull up for a three point. Three is up, way off the mark. And double dribble. Well, again, you can criticize the turnover. You got to give credit to Ali Meza there for putting the pressure against him. Well, Scotty Thompson. Well, look at this. Filipino step. Iceman. One more time. Fangarol. CJ Perez reporting for duty. Just going to work. Well, Ramos is going to get called for the foul. Oh, no. Well, that's a very interesting call. Because I personally felt that Dwight Ramos was the one that gave the push. Well, they've called on Hadidian, I believe. 
Well, that is minimal contact, I believe, but that's a very tough one. In my mind, that should be a foul against Gilles Pilipinas. 11 on now, putting on the full court pressure. Thompson trying to break this one. Lebanon going into a 2-3 zone defense. Now they're going to try to force Philippines to take perimeter shots. Brownlee down low. Juma under the basket. He gets fouled. Well, that's a smart way to break down the zone defense. They stuck Brownlee at the high post and tried to go for the high-low action. Well, that was a high post entry. Just a simple lob. And that's 6-10, Juma Fajardo. Well, Juma Fajardo from Cebu, Filipinas, a one club man in the PBA. That's right, he's only played for San Miguel Beerman, nine time PBA champion, a four time PBA finals MVP, and a six time PBA most valuable player. Well, he is a cult hero for every young basketball fan in the Philippines. Well, Lebanon now trying to go to a pick and roll action. Mike Yokchev will have the three pointer, but probably should have gone for it. There you can see Ali Meza saying to him, shoot the ball, you're wide open. And Haik Yokchan, you know, he showed in the FIBA Asia Cup that he can't step out and pop from the perimeter. Well, this time he does go for it. And why don't you shoot the ball? Haik Yokchan, if you're open, let it rip. The Philippines now go to a bit of a run and gun offense, and they pound drive the three pointer. Well, the three is good from Justin Brownlee. Well, if he gets his confidence going, he's going to be a problem for, for Lebanon because he can play both inside and outside for Gilas. Penetration now, Darwich turns it over. Good defense for Thompson, and now Gilas. We got numbers. Thompson all the way. Kicks out, Brownlee's made one three. Can he go for another? Yes, he can. Well, Brownlee, all of a sudden, coming out like a house on fire. Well, the official sponsor to this game, the Tissot sponsor. And as Brownlee hits the second tray ball, he's now two for two for the perimeter. Gyokchan now throwing this one down low. Lebanon just need to settle the nerves here. Pick and roll action goes up. Gets caught in a quadruple team, but again, the suffocated defense by Juma. CJ Perez now. Perez finding Juma. Juma throws it away. Now Lebanon. Well, who's running with him? Nobody in transition with Ali Meza. Well, so what do you got to love about the Lebanese offense? They don't rush anything. They don't take poor shots. They really do take their time. We'll get Gokchan drawing the foul against Scotty Thompson. That's also the benefit of having high Gokchan. Well, Brownlee, back to back threes on both ends of the floor. Well, he knows the secret spots. Thompson with a kick out. Brownlee nails it. We go for the mid range. Curls off the screen. Can't get it. Ramos with the rebound. This is with a six-point lead. He can try to push this to eight points. Juma looking for the post-up. Dish it off, and a kick out to C.J. Perez. Now we're on the town of the shot clock. Again, Juma for Hada now. High Gyokchan can try to push this one. Goes in all the way. Euro Lebanese step with a finger roll. And High Gyokchan shooting threes on the perimeter, but also getting out in transition. Well, looking like a Lebanese John Sally at the moment. Bit of a bad boy. Well, Brownlee's made two threes, in and out, almost got it. Now Lebanon can cut this down to a one possession game. Again, patience on their offense, no need to rush anything. It's such a well-coached team, this Lebanese team. As Gokchan almost turns it over, and he does just that. Good defense by Thompson. Find Brownlee, Brownlee goes in, gets rejected! Well, Sergio El Dowich with the denial. Well, watch Sergio El Dowich sell Bradley. Not in your house. Goodbye.
get out of here. Well, Jordan Hetty also checking into the game here for Gilas. It's a good game so far here for Gilas. Is now Dwight Ramos checking out the game. Well, Brown has made two threes, gets a foul. He'll go to the free throw line for the two shots. There was a bit of a miscommunication on the defense on the Lebanese players. It was left wide, it was a miss. I would just checked into the game. The Lebanese Prince, as they like to call him. Naim Rabai also checking in. So it looks like Hai Gyokchan will play the center on a small ball lineup. Justin Bradley just missing the first free throw. And again, free throws are going to be so crucial for both these two teams in the long run of this game. Well, the former St. John's player leaving in 2011. Now, he started his career in the NBA G League with the main red claws back in 2011. Just spent the last few seasons playing about Barangay Hinebra in the PBA. Five-point lead to Gilas. Look for the penetration now. Amir Saoud. Well, the Lebanese Prince goes in with the finger roll. And again, your majesty. Well, Amir Saoud, how many times have we seen the left-handed killer? He is just a phenomenal basketball player. If he can get his perimeter shooting going tonight, he could cause a lot of problems to Gilas. And Brownlee now looking to cross over, goes in all the way. Too much on the offensive rebound. Find a Brownlee one more time. Pump fakes, goes up, still can't get it. And finally, get Lebanon come up with a rebound. Well, they cut it down to a one point ball game. Well, tie the game up with a three pointer. But Gilas don't want Saud to get some good looks from the perimeter. I mean, he is a good shooter. Well, so there's a three-pointer, takes it, ties it up. The Lebanese Prince. This guy, well, excuse me, Sergio Dawich. Well, my apologies. Another deep shot again, and now the Philippines responded. Well, Juma, well, who said the big man couldn't shoot three-pointers? Well, the six-time PBA MVP responded. Well, Mia Saud now. We're going to have an offensive foul has now led to a mystery. But that goes to show, look, you got Sergio Dawich and Amir Saud out there. Well, look at the ball movement. Well, give, well, it was El, Amir Saud. My apologies, the camera did focus on El Dawich. But Juma nails it from downtown. Well, fan favorite celebrity Kiefer Ravenna checking into the game for Gilas. Well, Kiefer is a iconic figure in the sports world of the Philippines. Well, Gilas now trying to break down his own defense. We well, go for a three, a three is up, and a three is good. And Gilas at the moment coming out like a house on fire. Well, the perimeter shooting as Jamie Malonzo. Keeping the lead at six points. You kind of like the tempo of this game. These two teams exchanging three-point field goals. We're looking for options now. Kicking this one out. I miss a few seconds now. Looks at the penetration. Teardrop goes up. This guy is coming out like a house on fire. Well, he won't be denied. The Prince. And now another three-pointer. Gilas going... Again, a bit of a forced effort there from Bobby Ray Pox. Another player making it over for the B-League. After playing seasons with TNT, Tropanguilla, and Char Reyes. And now Lebanon trailing by four points. Now if you're Lebanon, you want to put the ball in the hands of Amir Saoud. Haik well, Gyokchan, one late fadeaway, can't get it. Well, somebody could have got an offensive rebound, but now Ravenna pushes one, finding Bobby Ray Pox. And that's going to be a goaltend. But you got to credit Lebanon's transition defense and desire to get back. I mean, Bobby Ray Pox, Kiefer Ravenna do a phenomenal job there of getting out transition. But look how every single Lebanese player just makes that effort.
So 11 on again, trailing by six here, trying to get something going. Philippines stepping up their defense, another turnover. Again, Lebanon get it back. Well, the Prince goes for another three, can't get it. Gets his own rebound in the lane now, finds High Gyukchan again. He lays that one up, and Lebanon just won't give up on it. And it's all with the Prince. Finding Mr. Gyukchan. And so he cut it down to a four point ball game. 14 seconds difference between the game clock and the shot clock. Malonzo goes up, gets the M1, and he'll go to the free throw line for the three point play. Lebanon want to stay in his own defense, but Gilas having no problems breaking it down. Again, they got to mix something up here. Well, that was going to be called against High Gyokchan. Malonzo, I know the entry on the free throw attempt, so he'll have a retake on the free throw, and again, it's a costly error. For the Lebanese players to give up there, they gotta try to minimize these mistakes they make. Official time remaining at the first quarter, 24.2 seconds. Substitute big throw for J.D. Malonzo. Well, Lebanon now trying to get a post entry. Go for another three. The three is up. No good on this one. But fighting for every offensive rebound. Amir Saud wide open. Finds a little gap, goes in. Again, probably should have gone up for the layup. And it's well, that's the end of the first quarter. Well, Amir Saud had the option, but decided not to go for it. Well, slender lead here for the Philippines. We're going to show you some stats and some highlights here from the first quarter. These two teams already qualified. Gilas being the host nation, one of three for the FIBA World Cup. And that was the early play of the game, just the no-look dive coming from Sergio Eldowich. And you can see CJ Perez going in like Iceman, straight to the bucket. You gotta love the tempo of these games. These teams just exchanging buckets back and forth. Thompson, kick out Brownlee, he had a hot hands. Well, Baden Guy Hinebra represented. You know, love the way Haik Yachan side of the game is a powerful, but now in this role playing the center and El Prince Amir Saud. Well, he could be the key difference maker in this game for Gilas, but Chuma, six time PBA MVP, nailing it from downtown. Is that better? Well, this is what they're gonna win here. Well, there are the stats from the first quarter. Lebanon six for nine from inside the rainbow. Only two three-pointers. Pagila shooting a very impressive 67% from the perimeter. Well, they have come out like a house on fire in this game. Well, there is the QR code for Courtside 1891 to get all the best live streams of all the great FIBA tournaments coming up this summer. The Women's Euro Basket will have this summer, which will be hosted in Israel and in Slovenia. And, of course, the FIBA World Cup, which will be hosted here in Indonesia and Japan. Again, buy your bundle passes on Courtside 1891, where you can follow all those live tournaments. Great platform to use, Courtside 1891. Philippines with a six-point lead. Brownlee leading things here for the perimeter. As Kiefer now trying to put the moves on. Getting a handoff. Now we're under 10 the shot clock. Heading, splits the defense all the way. And again, that is Uwiana. What a shot you would see on the streets of Manila. Well, making it an eight-point ball game. Lebanon trying to battle back. Kenny got to play with a bit of patience now. 
Well, they have Zainun in the backcourt along with Mansour and Saud. And Haik Yakchan fighting, goes up off the backboard, can't get it. Well, somebody's got to go in for an offensive rebound. Somebody has to help him out. Lebanon going small now with Hadidian on the bench. Bobby Ray Pox for three. He'll take it. He'll nail it. And that's the fifth tray ball for Gilas. Well, they are feeling the confidence here at home. Masoud gets a switch on defense. It's another turnover. As now Malonzo looking to take a transition, finds Head and they go for another three, and that is number six. Somebody call the electricians because Gilas Pilipinas are shooting the lights out right now. Well, they are just nailing Trables. This is what I like to call the basketball stock exchange market. Trables, high inflation rate. Gilas, they're on fire. Well, they just can't miss a three-pointer. Well, let's go and listen to what Coach El Hajj has to say. We gotta love the coaching of El Haj there. Just saying to his players, we are two tents. You gotta calm down, play together, move the ball more effectively. Yo, Lebanon's a good team. They might not have Wael Arachi right now, but they got plenty of good players. They just need to ride the storm. Try not to turn it over. Defensively kill them with a few stops. And now trying to break the defense down. Six on the shot clock. Saud pump fakes. Tries to lob, find a Hadidian. Well, Hadidian's gotta go up with it. Gets rejected. Well, not in my house. Another three. Three is up. Can't get it. Well, again, great defense. Malonzo all over the place. Now looking to capitalize. Ray Pox, corner, three, takes it. Oh, baby. It is raining threes here. Gilas capitalizing. Well, Haik Yachan tries another three-point again. It's just becoming a bit of a struggle. And, you know, Lebanon will play some good basketball. they got to be a little bit more confident. Well, there's a three-point in the corner. Bobby Ray Pox, Salamat. Thank you very much. Well, Malonzo says, Hindi Pa'alam. No, sir. Goodbye. Well, heading now. Finds Bobby Ray Pox one more time. Can't get it. Well, this is where Lebanon needs to capitalize. Try and get something going here. Build their confidence. Amir Saoud on the ball. They try another three. Three is up, but that's much better. And that's going to calm the nerves down of the Lebanese players. Build their confidence. Slowly get back into this one. Cutting it down to a 14-point ball game. Zainun getting his first field goal. Well, Kiefer Ravenna left wide open. Doesn't get it. That's going to go out of bounds. That will be Philippines' ball, but the problem there is they got to keep Alonzo off the offensive rebounds. Well, confidence there. Too much space left by Jordan Henning, but Zaynun's got to step up. He's got to make more of those. And does the Carmelo answer the action right in front of Carmelo? Well, Bobby Ray Parks now turns it over. Lebanon have an opportunity here in transition. Goes up all the way and again finishes that one. And Zaynoun 
Getting out in the transition very effectively for the Lebanese. Coming down to a 12-point ball game. Juma trying to force his way in, goes in. Good defense. Well, Kifa comes up with a loose ball. Mid-range, nothing but net by Keitha Ravenna. Well, Lebanon did everything right there, but come up with a loose ball. Well, goes in with a beautiful finger on Hadidian. Can't get the follow-up. He's got to make that. But again, it's a good penetration by Lebanon. Playing better basketball. But good recovery defense. And who else? Zaynoun. Why well, turns it over. Now Brownlee comes up. And Brownlee, Euro step. And he goes in and finishes it. Well, Zaynoun made great defensive plays there. But again, just turned it over. Lebanon back down by 16 points. Well, Bobby Ray Pox not letting so take the three-point, but can't stop on the mid-range. The Prince hits again. He's just got such a lethal left-handed shot from the mid-range from the perimeter. But he's got to keep going to that option. He hits that Lebanon. Got to get him good looks. Kiefer now steps up. Three-pointer in and out. Can't get it. Lebanon come up with a loose ball. Just under five and a half to go here in the second quarter. So now. Trying to hang in the air, finding Hadidian. Finding so one more time. Goes for an uncontested 10 foot jump shot. Well, the Prince is on fire. You got to get the ball to him. There's now Shot Reyes, calls timeout. He wants to talk it over. Because he needs to figure out how to stop Amir Saud. Well, let's go and listen to what Shot Reyes has to say in this timeout to his players. Well, the Prince is feeling it. Every time he's got a bit of momentum, just isolates a little bit of space between him and the defense. Well, he has to have that confidence. He could be the player that gets Lebanon back into this game. What a fantastic play. If you've ever watched the 2019 FIBA World Cup qualifiers, I mean, he was renowned for taking half-court shots. It's Justin Brownlee, nine points so far this evening. Two for three from the perimeter. Well, he could have come up, but it's still there. I mean, so probably should have taken that gamble. But the full-court pressure... Paying dividends so far here for Lebanon. Lebanon stand at 2-3 zone. Ravenna going baseline, finding Juma. Four seconds now. CJ Perez takes a three. Three is up. Doesn't get it. Lebanon now can cut it down to single digits if they can get a three-pointer. Well, Miss Saud now heavily guided, coming off one ball screen. There's the kick out. Sojo Dawic had the three-pointer, goes in all the way, draws a foul, and he'll go to the free throw line. Four two shots, good basketball from Lebanon. Wow. It's also great recovery from Hadidian there, just trying to seal off Juma Fajardo without getting called for a moving screen. So Lebanon slowly but surely getting themselves back in this one. Well, Brownlee coming back in. Char Reyes was very mindful Lebanon can, you know, definitely make a comeback. Probably will go with a small lineup as Fajardo picking up his second personal foul, but Dawich missing the free throw.
Well, Lebanon staying in that full court pressure. Gilas trying to break it down. Yeah, just need to be patient with the basketball. Don't need to rush anything right now. We're trying to cross court pass. CJ Perez misses last three. No problem with this one. And again, Gilas continue to cook it up. Well, Saud had the shot, didn't go for it. Well, goes in with the acrobatic shot, the follow up, and much better. Well, Lebanon can keep themselves in this one if they go for more offensive rebounds. In that case, Sergio El Dawich with the tip back. And that's how they got to stay in this game. Gilas, again, should have no problems. Another three. Ramos this time can't get it. An offensive rebound goes up. They still can't capitalize. And now Lebanon trailing by 12, cutting down to 10 points, maybe single digits. Khalil making a tough pass entry to Hadidi and he fumbles the basketball. Well, it's just so obvious. There's so much of a telegraph pass. They got to move the ball a little bit quicker. Yo, what Lebanon don't have right now is a size here. You know, only Hadidi and they have a guck chance to come back in, but you know, they got to make it look a little bit more. A little less obvious that they're trying to make those post entry passes. Gilas now 50% from the perimeter, 8 for 16. Brownlee, one more pass. Ramos had the three. Ramos goes in. Oh, baby! Oh, we and nah went in with the wraparound layup. Well, looking like a beautiful Julius Irvin. In the lane now. And that's much better. The attack to the basket. And Sergio Dowich responding down the other end. Lebanon needs to keep this within single digits. Another perimeter shot goes up, and that goes out of bounds. Well, that is Dr. J in a Gilas Pilipinas jersey. Fanger roll time. Wrap round. Dwight Ramos and Sergio Dawich. Well, if he puts that in a dunk, that's going to be a top play of the week here for the FIBA World Cup qualifiers. Well, good tempo to this game now. These two teams just going right at each other. So pump fakes. Draws a foul, goes up, gets the AM one. The Prince punishes CJ Perez. And a chance to make it single digits. Well, you got to give the rock to Amir Saud. He is cooking it at the moment. Well, look at the little pump fake. Perez commits, goes in, left-handed. Little kiss of death there off the backboard. Well, 13 points for the Prince in 11 minutes. Six for eight from the field. One three-point field goal. This guy is cooking it at the moment. Well, makes the three-point play, cutting it down to single digits. Single-handedly trying to keep Lebanon in this one. Ramos single-handedly splitting the press now in the lane. Finds Bobby Ray Pox. That's an ease off. Finds Brownlee, excuse me. But that's too easy there. And El Hodge will be infuriated with his defense. Dwight Ramos single-handedly broke down the full-court pressure and just gave an easy little dish off to Brownlee. And as great as Lebanon have been trying to get back in this game, that defense isn't acceptable. Well, Minnesota at the moment, 14 points. But again, you know, you heard that from Coach L. Hodge saying no fouls. You know, and already seven minutes and 39 seconds played. 
But the bigger problem, you guys, you can't have Dwight Rowell just split the entire press defense and just have a little dish off. So now step back, big three. Oh my goodness, give this man some credit. The Prince really has been cooking it here. Well, he is just playing for an MVP and maybe at the moment looking like the Lebanese Stephen Curry. We're trying to break the defense down yet again. Eight point ball game, kicking this one out. Perez goes for another three, takes him downtown, doesn't get it. Another offensive rebound, and that is too easy. That will make El Haj infuriated. So now hangs in the air, no foul called. Back to a 10 point ball game. And he draws a foul, and that's going to be the 13th foul. But you know, going back to the previous play, Scotty Thompson may be the smallest player on the court. How he gets an offensive rebound. Now, look, there's the shot. Nobody called box out. Thompson gets a rebound. You got Guck. Guck chat along with Khalil as well. Now will infuriate Coach El Hodge. Well, Gyak Chan looking for the post entry. Well, again, a poor pass to turn it over. Well, good recovery defense. That's one credit you got to give to Lebanese players. Every time they turn the ball over, they make every effort to get back on defense. Well, 107 to go here in the second quarter. Baseline ball to Gilas. Well, under the basket, throws it down with a bit of authority. Brownlee, well again, it's too easy. Well, Dawish now crossing over, good hands. Now they got numbers. We got Paris to his right. That's a waste up to now to get ahead here. Dawish and capitalize, goes up with it and finishes with a little finger roll. Well, a bit of a overzealous attempt there from the Philippines. Now, Levinon can cut it back down to single digits. Probably could go for the last shot now. Four seconds difference between game clock and shot clock. So, got it by Scotty Thompson. So, now down the lane, kicks out one more pass. Hey, Lil, three. Doesn't get it. And now, Gilas, one more opportunity. But again, great recovery defense. And this is what I talk about. Jad Khalil making every effort to get back. Now, he shouldn't be sorry whatsoever. He had a wide open look. You got to shoot that. But I got to give credit to Jack Khalil making every single last bit of energy to get back and stop Gilas from having a wide open layup. But Gilas now with 3.5 seconds left. They will get the last shot here in the first half. Ideally, you got a few shooters on the court. You got Dwight Ramos, but the 3.5 seconds left, so plenty of time to get the ball inbound and attack the basket, maybe. Question is who they're going to try and get the ball to for this play. Well, Gilas leading by 10 points. 3.5 seconds left here in the first half. Thompson will inbound this. Well, again, one more time. It's Salamat Brownlee. Well, Anong Oras Nangayon. What time is it? Brownlee, deja vu, same play. Right at the end of the first half. Well, he has 50 points. He is simply Justin Brownlee also has 50 points with deja vu back-to-back -back three pointers in both corners. And then also back-to-back -back dunks at the end of the second quarter. Odawich, Gokchan, Ali Meze, and the Didian Sagona bigger lineup. And Amir Saud goes in Fangirl. Can't get it.
Was Gilas have shot the ball very well from the perimeter with eight three pointers so far this evening? Well, they have Thompson Fajardo. Ramos with the post up, can't get it. Fajardo with the mid range, can't get it. Dwight tries to keep it away, and there you can see the referee was wide open. Now it's a turnover here to Gilas. Well, Darwich kicking this one out, finding Yuck Chan. Tries to go down the middle, a little teardrop in and out. It's two times now. Good looks, but they got to capitalize. Almost coming up with a steal. So you have to credit the result, the determination these Lebanese players. Those are two good looks. And even El Hadj knows there's not much you can do about that one, but just stepping out there. Well, Brownlee, hot hand now. 15 points here in the first half. Goes from the mid-range, takes it way off the mark. I think they're going to call foul there against Hadidian. Well, the problem for Hadidian there, he got caught too low under the basket, trying to box out. Juma Fajardo, so he's got to keep him a little bit further away. Well, he's going to have to leave the court now. Well, as Hadidian picks up his third personal foul, it's the only foul trouble concern, along with Haik Yokchan. They both had three fouls, actually, so Lebanon needs to be a little bit careful here. They don't want to get their only two bigs into foul trouble. Perez now uses the ball screen, finding Ramos. Going back to Juma, mid range. The bank is open, and it's called the Bank of Juma Fajardo. Well, six time PBA MVP, nine time PBA champion. Silently stepping up now. Lebanon go for another three point. The three is good. Cutting it down, 11 point ball game. Well, Zaynoon again hitting his second tray ball of the game. Much needed three points for the Lebanese. A kickball violation has been called against Lebanon. And that's going to be a sideline ball to Gilas Pilipinas. Well, there's Juma. We might as well call him a walking ATM machine. He is the walking bank. As Malonzo checks back into the game for Gilas. Well, they're going to go with a smaller lineup now. Malonzo, Ramos. Well, that is Reggie Miller in a Gilas Pilipinas jersey. Dwight time. Nails it. Dwight is becoming such an elite player here in the FIBA Asia zone now. Probably one of the best players Gilas has to put in the squad is now they go down to Haik Yokchan. Good seal off. That's much better because Haik Yokchan came off the side screen and cemented himself in the low block. Well, Dwight time from no man's land. Big time shot from Ramos. Well, another three is up. The three is good by Haik Yachan. These two teams exchanging three-point field goals. Now, Lebanon can keep this going. Can definitely stay in the game. Remember, they got foul trouble. Back to a play. Finding Dwight. Well, now 10 on the shot clock here for Gilas. Finding Juma. Juma goes to a little fadeaway. Tries to go for the bank again, but well, no foul called. And now Lebanon can push this. Sergio Darwich kicks out the hike, Yuk-Chan. Darwich thought about taking a three-point. It goes up, hangs in the edge, draws the foul. This is much better play. Because now they can go to the free throw line to try and cut it down to its 10-point ball game. Foul on number 15, Junmar Fajardo. We like what Darwich does, hangs in the air. Draws the contact. Juma goes to the free throw line.
Well, patiently now, trying to get themselves back in this game. Ten-point ball game. Lebanon putting on the full-court pressure. Thompson goes in the lane. Oh, my goodness! Magandangabi! Malonzo with the big-time throwdown. Well, C.J. Perez trying to put the suffocated defense. Well, so is wide open. They don't get the ball to him. But in the end, Darwich goes in, and Dwight Ramos, not in my house. Thompson goes in, and he missed the layup. And the foul has been committed. Well, Malonzo, Salamat Paul, big time duck, throws it down with no regard for Gyak Chan's feelings. Throw it down, Malonzo. Throw it down. That is good night. Well, he is becoming the human highlight reel here for the Philippines. Thompson makes a second free throw. Coming back in for Lebanon, Ali Mansour. Eleven on the only trailing by 13 points. Need to believe in themselves. Jock Chan with the post entry, getting a handoff with Amir Saud. Need a little bit more movement now. Paris comes up with it. Well, Paris now trying to throw the lob under the basket. Beautifully executed. Thompson finishes. And now Hodge is going to call timeout as his team. They now go down by 15 points here to Gilas. Well, smart play, but again, a little lob. I think he tried to go for Ramos, but Thompson comes up with it. And that's good transition basketball from Gilas Pilipinas. Well, let's go listen now to the head coach of Lebanon. Well, we just witnessed a moment of greatness from Alonso. But now it's a 15-point lead here to Gilas. The foul has been called. The elbow is high. The foul is definitely before the elbow contact is made, but I mean, he's playing. Want to be a little bit mindful, of course. Don't want to commit any unnecessary to get cold. In the lane now, looking for options to move for the Lebanese players. Needs to help out a bit. They go in for the circus shot, goes up, can't get it. Well, some moments where Lebanon plays a good pass, but one more time, this guy is just putting on a showcase. Malonzo has come ready to play. Well, he is feeling the energy. Well, Dawich now, again, needs some inspiration here from Lebanon. They got to get something going. Go for another deep three, and that is a big-time shot. That will calm down the nerves and just give Lebanon a bit of confidence. They're not out of this game. They got to stay in it. They got to play together. 
Well, find it. Brownlee again. Beautiful basket. Malonzo. Oh, he tried to clean up with it. Gets the offensive rebound. Still can't get it. Fighting for it. Brownlee comes up with a steal. Well, Gilas just going after every loose ball at the moment. Perez, step back, three point up, front eye, can't get it. Another offensive rebound, saves it. Well, do I try to go to the basket? Do I go, gets rejected, but the foul is going to be cold. Well, the fans say, Laba Pilipinas. Malonzo says, Puso throws it down with a bit of authority. Well, Bobby Ray Pox checks into the game here for Gilas. CJ Paris taking a break. Well, Ramos makes the second free throw. Mason Amos checking in for the first time. It's Brownlee will take a breather. 15 point lead for the Philippines. Now, if you're Lebanon, now you, you know, it's not a big margin whatsoever. They want to try and cut it down to single digits going into the fourth quarter. Eurostep Dawich goes in. It's a good move, but somebody's got to follow up for an offensive rebound. But it's plays like that. I mean, they break the defense down. There's no inside presence. Ramos, wide open three, doesn't get it. Another offensive rebound for Gilas. Well, rolls in again. A beautiful play. Goes in with a circus shot. Can't get it. And another way Lebanon can try to get themselves back in this game. You know, look, the Philippines have no more fouls to give. Get to the free throw line. Lebanon's got one more foul to give. And he chips to the charity stripe. Ty Gyok Chan makes both free throws here for Lebanon. Well, spin out move. Malonzo goes in, turns it over. Good defense. Well, comes up with it. Corner, Gokchad fakes it. Three pointers made two tonight. Can't get this one. But much better offensive rebound by Lebanon. Hangs in the air. Still can't get it. Well, again, comes up with a loose ball. Much better defense. And Sergio Eldowich refusing to give up. And Lebanon emotionally, mentally, Maybe a little bit fatigued, but the heart is still there. The Lebanese power, the Lebanese heart refusing to give up. 14 point lead, six on the shot clock. Bobby Ray Pox, well, should have made the contact. Dwight going baseline, puts up a tear shot. Ooh, we are nah. One more time by Dwight Ramos. Well, B League special from the Antoneo University player. Find a Gyokchan under the basket. The big man making a post move. No foul called. Well, I think he should be going to the free throw line. Now Gilas go for a bit of run and gun. Three point in transition. And now it's a 19 point ball game. Going all the way to the bucket, and again, who's going in for an offensive rebound? And that's where Lebanon can get themselves back in this. Going for second chances. Ray Pox in the corner for three, no good. There's 2.30 to go here, they just need to play with a little bit more composure. Dawich goes in, draws a contact, doesn't get the end one, but that's much better. Get to the free throw line. Number four, Ebert Pavetta, that's the second personal foul. 
Well, Sergio Dawich really has been the one key player that's keeping Lebanon at bay in this game at the moment. Well, moves up to fourth, 14 points. He's two for five from the field this evening. He hasn't taken a three-pointer. But he's becoming the one player with the hot desire to just comes up short there on the second free throw. Lebanon down by 18. Got to believe now. Backcourt violation. Well, a bit of a costly turnover there from Heading. Substitution for Lebanon. Coming in for the first time for Lebanon, Mark Kouini. Shot ball at 14 seconds. Well, the post up, I did it. Goes too big, too strong, just too good, and that's what Lebanon needs. Post play from the big man. Feed the big man. Feed Hadidi and let him go to work. Cutting it down to 16 points. Ravenna now find heading, going baseline. In the lane now goes in a little teardrop, and again too easy. Gilas moving the ball effectively. Three point has been tucked away against Zainud hitting his third tray ball. They can try to cut it down to 10 points as close as possible going into the fourth quarter. Lebanon can give themselves a lot of confidence. But Didi can't pick up a fourth personal foul. And there's another three. The three is up. Malonzo is cooking it right now. Well, he's having a field day so far from this game. Playing with confidence. Zainu. This guy is single-handedly changing the weather forecast, making it rain. Call the electrician, call the fire department. He's shooting the lights out, and he is on fire. Zainu with all the confidence. But he's got to keep believing. They try another three, and it is a cookout right now. These two teams exchanging three-point field goals. Well, exchanging like they are on the basketball stock exchange market. Every tray ball. With high inflation rates, different values. This is an unbelievable game of basketball at the moment. Lebanon, 8 for 16 from the perimeter. Zainu missing that one. Well, Gilas, 13 for 26. Both teams shooting an impressive three point stat. And now Gilas can get the last shot. Ravenna kicks out, heading one more time, can't get it. Well, a few more seconds again. Kiefer pump fakes, one more. Bobby Ray Pox, one more. Sharing is caring, but they don't get it. Ladies and gentlemen, at the end of third quarter, Gilas with an 18-point lead here over Lebanon. Well, these two teams combined 21 three-point field goals here tonight. Gilas 13 for 28, while Lebanon 8 for 17. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that, but at the moment, Gilas with an 18-point lead. Lebanon have one more quarter to salvage something. Both these two teams will be going to the 2023 FIBA World Cup. You can see the good movement from Gilas getting out and transition the throw down there by Malonzo. That might be the play of the game. That's one way to break the zone. Press for, just throws it down with no regard. Now, very, very tough play. CJ Perez coming up with a loose ball. A good transition play yet again from Gilas.
Well, we have a bit of a proposal there at the half court. So congratulations to two eventual people that are about to get married. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there is the QR code for Courtside 1891. Get the best deals to follow all the best international basketball this summer. We have the FIBA Women's Euro Basket be hosting in Slovenia and Israel, but also Kiefer Avena and Gilas will be hosting the FIBA World Cup in Indonesia and in Japan. You can watch it all live here on the best platform. Courtside 1891. Well, Gila's trying to move the ball effectively. Now Bobby Ray Parks. Contact, no foul called. Heading tries another three, and that is three-pointer number 14. Well, they are just cooking it right now. Lebanon playing some good defense, but with 15 three-pointers, it just shows you right now. Lights out here in the Philippines. Well, Zane Newton now looking for options, trying to kick this one out. Five on the shot clock now. Got to get something going. Another step back, takes it. Oh, my goodness. Well, this guy can make it some tough, tough three-pointers. And make that three-pointer number nine for Lebanon. I mean, any other game, well, another three-pointer ahead. He goes for it, can't get it. Juma with the offensive rebound. Well, find the head. He goes baseline, and that's too easy. But if you think with nine three-pointers that Lebanon has any other game, they would be probably winning this game with nine three-pointers. But the fact is the Philippines with 15 three-pointers really has been tough to handle here so far this evening. Fanil now 10 on the shot clock trying to break the defense down. Well, Hadidian doesn't take many three-pointers. Doesn't get that one. That goes out of bounds. Now will be Lebanon ball. Substitutions for Lebanon coming into the game. Sergio Alvarovic, Amir Saoud, and Mike Mitchell. This is good. Bowman probably finding heading going baseline. Shot clock at 14 seconds. Well, foul is going to be called off the ball, I believe, so it's going to be called against Bobby Ray Pox, Jr. Holding foul on number one, Ray Parks, Jr. That's his first personal foul. First team foul for the Philippines. 14 seconds to shoot. Well, another three is up by Gyakchan. Can't get this one. The rebound by Heading. Another foul. This one's going to be called against Lebanon. That one's going to be called against Mark Huiri. Well, Huiri just checking into the game, of course. Well, Min Saoud hasn't scored since the first half. He's still on the bench at the moment. He's keeping Ravenna wide open. He'll take it. He'll nail it. Well, make that three-point at number 16 for the Philippines. Well, this is phenomenal. I mean, this is a three-point showcase for both these two teams. I mean, eight three-pointers for Lebanon as well. You've got to give them credit. We're in the corner, can they make it number nine? Gyokchan three, yes he can! Well, credit to the Lebanese players. They are cooking as well, as he makes his second treble of the game. Well, Gyokchan trying to put his hands in the passing lane, can't come up with it. Ravenna hesitation goes all the way. Well, can't get it. Gokchan can't feel the confidence. Gilas not letting him take any more three-pointers. Or can they make it number 10? And Lebanon lighten it up. Well, if I told you they made 10 three-pointers by the fourth quarter, you wouldn't believe that they'd be down 17 points. They are cooking. The game is not over. Lebanon have to believe. Well, excuse me, 11 for 22 from the perimeter for Lebanon. How many times do you see a team Make that many three-pointers and trail in the game. Well, 14 on the shot clock here for Gilas. Yeah, very good performances now. Juma tries to go to the basket, draws a foul against Haik Yokchan. At well, that point, Lebanon's got to make a decision where they come for a double team or something. Because Juma stands at about 210 centimeters. 
Back to a 19-point ball game. Lebanon can't fill the confidence. Can he get something going for the perimeter? He goes in with a tough fadeaway. Doesn't get it. Well, it's going to be out of bounds. It's going to be Lebanon ball with 2.2 seconds left on the shot clock. 6.40 to go here in the fourth quarter. In the lane, finishes that one beautiful as Sergio Dawich. But if Lebanon can't believe it's only 17 points, 630. Never say never in world basketball. But again, they got to play defense. It's Brownlee just gets straight to the bucket. Well, Dawich hasn't taken a three pointer. Pump fakes, kicks out. There's another kick out. Gyokchan, can he get another one? Off the backboard. Are you serious? Count it. Well, Shukran, thank you very much. 12 three pointers for Lebanon. Kifa, wide open. Can make it 16 for the Philippines. This is unbelievable. Gilas now 16 for 32 from downtown. Well, Gyokchan, why not? No man's land. Doesn't get it. Well, back to the big man. Well, one more, Dowich, wide open corner for well, number 13. Oh, baby! Cookout time! This is what I call the FIBA World Cup qualifying three-point shootout. And Sean Reyes has seen enough. 13 for 25 for Lebanon. Well, that was a penetration. Kick out. One more pass. Well, that was Gyokchan. But again, you cannot leave Kiefer Ravenna that wide open. Kielas, 16 for 32. Lebanon, as I already mentioned, 13 for 25. Well, when you go to the FIBA World Cup this summer, you better watch these two teams play. They are just putting on a clinic right now. Reggie Miller, Ray Allen, are you watching? You think about it now, 5.33 go here in the fourth quarter. 97 to 81, a 16 point ball game. Well then the argument you're gonna make is if Lebanon catches up to the Philippines and gets 16 three pointers and it's what, eight? At that point it's only a seven point ball game. The difference is gonna be in the paint of course. Well there is Tim Cohn, the head coach of Barangay Ginebra along with John Ray is the head coach, as we mentioned. Well, the PBA coaching staff represented here for Gilas Pilipinas.
You know, the thing for Lebanon in this game has just really been points inside the paint. You know, you cannot question this team's collective nature. They play beautiful basketball together. The difference is now they're just missing the inside presence. Now, they do have 14 turnovers. Gilas do have 11, but that's, you'd expect that in a professional game of basketball. Well, inside the rainbow, 17 field goals. Well, again, it's not too much of a difference. Just the fact you got to credit the fact Gillis have shot the lights out. Defensively, you could argue Lebanon probably needs to be a little bit more structured and disciplined in the defense, but this is a good basketball team. Very good basketball team. Five and a half now. Gilas with a 16-point lead. Remember, these two teams already going to the FIBA World Cup. They did meet in the FIBA Asia Cup. Well, Lebanon came out victorious. Win the lane now. Another kick out heading. Number 17. Can't get it. Now Lebanon can try to push this one. Well, five minutes to go. A bucket here. Maybe another three-pointer would do a world of confidence for Lebanon. There's a the penetration now. Goes all the way to wrap around left. Beautiful move. Well, Sergio Dowich goes up to 18 points. 7 for 10 from the field. The one only player on the court who hasn't attempted a three-pointer. For Lebanon at the moment. Give and go now. Bobby Ray Pox, but defense like that. It's beautiful basketball. Lebanon needs to be a little bit more tight, a little bit more compact. That's just too easy for Gilas. Jock Chan now getting a handoff. Trying to find the big man. We go for another tray ball. The three is up front. I can't get it. Offensive rebound. Looking for the kick out. Lebanon with another shot. It's 10 on the shot clock. Has to take a tough, tough step back. Can't get it. Jock Chan tries to tip back. Still can't get it. Offensive rebound goes up. Gets the yeah, one. That's a big time play. Well, that's a huge one. Well, battles for it. Well, he's got the size of this match against Bobby Ray Pox and Jordan Heading. Well, he cut it down to a 13 point ball game if he makes his free throw. And anything is possible. Never give up. We had a good summer at the FIBA Asia Cup. But he missed the three point play. Lebanon relatively only 66% for the free throw line this evening. It's a 14 point ball game. Gilas, time is on this side. No need to rush anything. 30 now, trying to run around the screens. We go for another three. Three is up and make that number 17. Well, this is phenomenal. Malonzo cooking it this evening. Well, he's now up to 15 points. That was his third treble of the night. There's a pick of Pop Zainu. Well, had the three point. They go for it. Gokchan gets caught a double team. Gets rejected. Good defense by Malonzo. Tries to go up again. Still can't get it. Well, good recovery defense. Bobby Ray Pox comes up with it. Malonzo down the middle. Euro step. Kicks out. Well, 30 takes a three, can't get it. A foul has been called. Well, that's what I like to call Banis high up in your face, as they would say here in the Philippines. Well, he has been cooking. Chef Malonzo, the dunker, whatever you like to call him. Well, the Prince hasn't scored since the first half. That's going to be a kickball violation. Some possession back to Lebanon. Back in for the 
Where's the penetration out? So it had the three-pointer, goes in with the acrobat. Oh my goodness, give this man some credit. Count it. The Prince has a score here in the second half. It just gives a little royal teardrop, the royal rainbow. On the Philippines, they like to say, Uwiana, Panis, Hayap, whatever you like. That's a bit of a Gilas touch on that one here in Manila. Well, he is just a fantastic basketball player, but where has he been here in the second half? Lebanon have needed him. Well, he now moves up to 20 points. Only three so far here in the second half. Now Perez down the middle. Fouls drawn, so CJ will go to the free throw line for two shots. Well, 2-11 to go now. Lebanon trailing by 14 points. Two free throws for CJ Perez. Well, CJ Perez started his pro career in the PBA with DYIP Colombia in the, back in 2019, but well, Malonzo keeping it alive. Lebanon comes up with it now, trailing by 15. Need the team with any fouls to give. Well, the Prince now being heavily guided. Kick out the corner. Good ball movement. Well, one more pass. He was open. Well, he'll go to the free throw line, but Mark Coeri was wide open on the perimeter. They didn't want to get the ball to him, but Sergio Dowich, 18 points. He goes to the free throw line. Well, nobody from Gilas has 20 points tonight, but for Sergio Dawich, if he makes both these free throws, he will move to 20 points. Four for six on the free throw line this season. As we mentioned, the Prince Amir Saud does have 20. As Dawich makes the first one. Ah, just misses that one. He almost turned over. Gets caught in the jumbo violation. And Malonzo. The possession now goes in favor of Lebanon. So key play there. I'd say Dawich making the right choice. Came up short on the free throw, but again, his team get the ball back. I'm telling you, never ever say never. Never throw the towel in. But Dawich with 19 points. We'll go to the bench, take a breather. And these Lebanese players, maybe defensively, there's a lot they can work on. But they will. No, they gave everything in this game so far. 13 for 26 from the perimeter. Saud will inbound this. Now, if Lebanon wants to get back, they got to go quick. There's a three by the Prince. The three is up. Doesn't get it. It goes out of bounds. Now will be Gilas Ball. We'll find him Alonso one more time. The three doesn't get it. Lebanon's got to be quick here. 130, down by 14. So pulls up for another three. Takes it. Nails it. 23 points for the Prince. Cuts it out to 11 points. Prompt for Lebanon. Well, that's why they got to take Gamble. Somebody's got to come over and take the interception. Gilas just need to run the clock down. What a game it's been. 14 three-pointers for Lebanon. 16 for the Philippines. Perez now trying to shake and bake. He'll step back. He'll take a three. Can't get it. Lebanon come up with it. They throw it right away. In the lane now. Goes up and a beautiful layup. A costly turnover. So pump face goes up and the Prince one more time with a little left-handed scoop hook. Well, he's got more scoops than a bowl of ice cream. He has just been phenomenal in this game so far. Well, you got to give credit to both these two teams. The Philippines, a masterclass of the perimeter. 17 for 36 from downtown. Lebanon, 50%. And there you can see, beautiful play. 
Well, so the Prince will try to get some consolation. He is fouled, and he will go the free throw line. Well, we apologize for the graphic. The game is not completely over. With 20.8 seconds left. Foul on number 21, Jason Amos. That's his first personal foul. Shooting to Amir Saud. Amir Saud, 32 years of age in his veteran years, born in Beirut, Lebanon. Well, he's been with Sporting Al Riyadi Beirut ever since 2010. Makes a second free throw. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I've got to tell you, we thank you for joining us here in Manila. These two teams will be headed to the FIBA World Cup. And respect there from the Philippine players. Not attempting a shot. Chot Reyes shaking hands. What a game it was. These Lebanese players came in and competed. Phenomenal performance from Lebanon. 14 for 28 from the perimeter. But at the end of this one, Kilas Pilipinas win 107 to 96 against Lebanon. What a game of basketball it was. A combined total of 31 three-point field goals between these two wonderful teams. Scotty Thompson starting things, of course, here in the backcourt for Kilas. Amir Saud, the Prince of Lebanon, finishing top scorer. He had 27. Haik Yokchan with 21. And of course, Sergio Dawich with 19 points. That was just simply a great game of basketball to watch. Gilas, one more game to go here in the qualifiers. As both teams will look forward to the FIBA World Cup this summer. Well, what an honor. The great Carmelo Anthony paying homage and showing respect to both teams. Melo with the love. The FIBA ambassador for the World Cup. As I mentioned at the beginning of the game, drafted by the Denver Nuggets in the 2003 NBA draft behind LeBron James and Darko Milicic. A wonderful scoring career with the Nuggets, the Knicks, the OKC, Oklahoma City Thunder, the Portland Trailblazers, and the LA Lakers. Featured in the 2006 FIBA World Championship, losing to Greece in the semifinals. Carmelo Anthony, a living legend, giving inspiration to the players of Gilas and of Lebanon. What a moment this is for both these two teams. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna show you some stats and some highlights. Ali Mansour getting a picture with a player he probably looked up to as a kid. And again, that's a beautiful sight there to see the great Carmelo Anthony giving inspiration to these players. Many who grew up idolizing him, many probably wanted to be just like Melo. Oh, what a game it was here in the end. Philippines, of course, that three-point masterclass was the difference. As already mentioned, 17 for 36 from the perimeter. I guess it's just like nobody, everybody's getting in line for a selfie with the great Carmelo Anthony. Well, Melo's gonna probably be on the court for a little bit too long. Everybody you can see Chuma Fajardo, six-time PBA MVP. He wants in. A Didion as well. But why not? A player these guys all grew up idolizing. Yo, when Melo was drafted, they were teenagers. Special moment for them. Well, the question I want to know for these players of Lebanon and for the Philippines is, which club were they most associated with in his career? Was it the Nuggets, the Knicks, the Oklahoma City Thunder? Maybe a little bit too old for the Portland Trailblazers in the other, his time with the LA Lakers, but of course, you just got to love this. These great professional players. Here you have a nine-time PBA champion with San Miguel Beerman, six-time PBA MVP, waiting to get a selfie with the great Carmelo Anthony. Well, I don't need to read those stats out to you. This is just a great game of basketball. 
I mean, everything, apart from the free throw shooting from Gilas under 50%, everything was over 50%, but the rebounding is going in favor of the Philippines and the assists for that matter. 31 was the difference. The Prince with 27, Gilas Chan with 21. Brownlee led the way for Gilas and Malonzo, combined total of 32 points. Let's take a look at the highlights from this magnificent game. Here are some of the key highlights. Justin Brown, the top scorer for Gilas Filipinas. Finishing 17 points, a throwdown with a bit of authority there from Brownlee. Again, what a first half he had here, leading the way for this Gilas entourage of just nonstop energy down the offensive end. He hit a few three points for that matter. Split the defense all the way. Are you serious, Brownlee? Well, Brownlee was just a key, key factor in this game in the first half. Well, there you can see New Zealand top of the group. And that is as it stands, of course. New Zealand, Lebanon, Philippines make the top three. They're on their way to the FIBA World Cup. What a game it was. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're briefly going to show you of all the teams who have qualified. The Americas will be a very exciting one. But keep your eye here on the Asian zone. Plenty more games to come across in the groups as well. Now, if you're on courtside 1891, you can watch all the games all over the world. Well, there you can see nine teams, only three spots left in Europe. The United States of America qualified along with Canada. Cote d'Ivoire, only team from Africa. And there's only one place left in Asia. And it's probably going to go to the highest fourth place finish. So we will see how that goes. All live here on courtside, 1891. But for now, Magadan Gabi, good night in Manila.